Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist says he wants to make not just his family, but Michigan proud of the work he does every day. The Detroiter is the first African American to serve as the state's lieutenant governor. He tells our Sandra Ali how he carries the responsibility of trying to be a change maker in the state. In 2019, he was sworn in to be the first African American lieutenant governor in Michigan. Then later, the first black lieutenant governor to sign bills into law. As you're about to hear, Garland Gilchrist doesn't take any of his responsibilities lightly as both a leader and a role model. Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist remembers how he was the first kid on his block to get a computer when he was five years old, thanks to his grandma Doris, a social studies teacher in Detroit. He says she ignited his passion for technology and government. My parents let that machine be mine to control, gave me confidence that I could make technology do what I wanted it to do. Gilchrist says it was that sort of upbringing that shaped him as a person and ultimately as a leader. My dad worked for the federal government. Uh, my family has a very traditional black migration story after the war, coming up here to work. His story began in Detroit, where he was born and raised, at least for the early years, before eventually moving to the suburbs where he went to high school. I was the only black kid in my school. And so I, I've, I for better or worse, have grown accustomed um, to having to navigate those kinds of waters and recognizing that my actions will not only um, lead to judgment of me, but will lead to judgment of my people. Gilchrist says his parents always believed in a strong work ethic, and they made sure he had the same foundation growing up. I think there is a unique change uh, that can happen in our communities, in our state, in the nation, in the, in the country, that I am responsible for making happen. So so I'm, I'm comfortable with the, the, the label change maker as, as long as I live up to it and actually make the change for the better. Now, as a dad himself, he sees firsthand how important it is to lead by example. I think about this in the same way that our now Vice President Kamala Harris thinks about, um, in terms of saying that she talked about her mother taught her that even if she's gonna be the first, it is her responsibility to make sure she's not the last. And so I think about that in my own service. Part of that service included speaking out about what he saw happening in Detroit when the COVID outbreak began. Gilchrist now heads the state's he coronavirus task force, addressing the racial disparities and why the crisis hit black and brown communities in Detroit the hardest. I've said goodbye to 27 people in my life. Most of them are black people um, from COVID-19. but. The inspirational part of that, the flip side of that, is that progress is possible when you focus on solving a problem. Gilchrist says he takes pride in being a problem solver. He believes it's the key to inspiring real change. But to move forward, there's a lot more that still needs to be done. That we have you know, a path to opportunity and prosperity for more people, for more people of color, for more people who have emerged from poverty in our state than we have had at any other point in our history. Now, having said that, we have so much work to do because there are still barriers, old and new, that stand between people and progress. The lieutenant governor says when he graduated from college after studying engineering at Michigan, the thinking back then was you had to leave the state to be able to pursue your dreams. Now he says he wants to continue to show young people across Michigan who are educated here that they can see their future here as well. Back to you.